Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. This is a tour video of the Southern Living Plant Collection and Encore Azalea uh, displays that were at a trade show I was at last week called Mant. It's a, a trade show where nurseries uh, and uh, other nursery related supply companies show off all of their things to, to nurseries and to garden centers and to landscapers uh, so uh, that those folks know where they can find uh, supply for their customers. And uh, the Southern Living Plant Collection space was uh, beautiful and so was the Encore Zellia space. So I decided to just kind of do a quick uh, pan around with the camera and I'm just going to talk over it and talk about the uh, pieces that they had in their space. So let's get going. This is the Autumn Fire, an Autumn Bonfire uh, signage that they had in the Encore Azalea space. Uh, this is Autumn Fire on the left and Autumn Bonfire on the right. You can see how beautiful they are. This is Autumn Bonfire closest to you here. These are definitely the two reddest of the Encore Azaleas. Really, really beautiful. That's Autumn Sunburst. I'm actually planting three of those in this yard uh, next week. You'll see that video. That's Autumn Carnation, that pink, that double, really, really beautiful double pink there. And they grow their uh, liners or rooted cuttings for other nurseries and uh, sell them um, uh, during the show as well to get other nurseries growing them. Uh, here's the uh, Southern Living Plant Collection space. That's Roman Candles Podocarpus right there. That's a uh, Fats Hedra. Um, I'm about to plant one here uh, at this house, but you can see across this whole space how many beautiful things are in it. Just a really nice collection of... Uh, of plants. These are those Gerber daisies that I planted. I planted those red ones at the, uh, no, the orange ones actually, uh, at the other house. I'll definitely be planting these this year. These are super tough. They bloomed right up until frost. Uh, that's Agapanthus, that purple flower there. And these grasses are cordylines. Um, I had one on my front table in my videos last year. That one with the pink in it, it's a new variety for this upcoming year. I definitely want to get some of those. That's an aloe with the uh, orange flower there. That's Senecio. Um, I'll definitely uh, get that for a container this year and show that off. That's that um, Chef's Choice Rosemary. The yellow flowers there, that's Marvel Mahonia. And I think I pan up here for those uh, Soft Caress Mahonia. Yeah, right there. That's Soft Caress Mahonia there above it. Uh, blooming there right in the wintertime. That's right when it should be blooming. And uh, that's Color Guard Yucca right there. I actually have a two-minute video on that that needs to go up. I just need to edit it. That grass is called Dianella. That's a cool vista, that one with the narrow foliage. There's a wider foliage variety as well. Um, I'll put that in the container this year so you can see it. That's that Mojo Podocarpus right there. I've covered that pretty thoroughly. Great little low um, ground cover, ground cover is shrub. That's a Sunshine Ligustrum. I got two of those coming for this yard. And that's Purple Daydream Laura Petalum, that purple foliage right there, uh, looking great. They have all their Laura Petalum. They had all their Laura Petalum there. That's Spider's Web Spatia right there in the front. I planted one of those at the old house. And that's Roman Candles Podocarpus uh, right behind it. Uh, I've got one of those in this yard. It's about to go in. This is that uh, Florida Sunshine Elysium, that yellow foliage right there. Beautiful, beautiful plant. I gotta find a space here for one of those as well. Just adds color year round. Uh, these are those new di uh, distillium right here. That's jewel box on the right. I just did a video for that. And this is cast in bronze. Uh, the one right there with the new bronzy foliage on it. Those are going to be uh, great plants. These are just industrial, super industrial plants. This is that touch of gold holly. I covered it recently. Uh, man, is that, that plant showy. You can see that thing for, for a long way away. It only gets about two to three feet in height. A little wider than tall. Focusing in on the nandinas here. And you can really, uh, <laughs> really see how beautiful that blush pink is in the winter time. It just turns that red, red, red color. And then uh, in the spring, it uh, flushes out uh, with that pinkish new growth. Those are gardenias on the left. And then I focus down here on this Carex, uh, all the different uh, Carex varieties in the Southern Living Plant Collection. Definitely be using those here as well. That's Christmas Carol Chameleon. It's, it's actually redder than that, but under those lights, it looks pink and white. Uh, the one down here is called Early Wonder, super early flowering variety. Beautiful formal double flowers on it. Uh, that's a Camellia japonica called Early Wonder. And that's Golden uh, Oakland Holly right there. I had one of those in a container at the other house. Definitely be doing that again uh, at this one as well. That's that uh, Anglo um, Star 
Fats, he Fats Hedra right there. Uh, definitely gonna put one of those in again. Here's all the abelia. There's Kaleidoscope and Miss Lemon and Radiance abelia right there. Looking great. A rhododendron popped in right down there at the very, the very bottom. And all the various uh, conifers here uh, on this side, all the arborvitas. And this is a new compact uh, gold mop cypress that they have. Uh, right there's that Dragon Prince Cryptomeria. I just did a video on it. There's one planted right here in the yard already. This is that Platinum Lamandra that I covered, I think about a year and a half ago or so. Beautiful, beautiful grass. That Nightlight Camia Cifrus right there, kind of centered. That's Forever Goldie Arborvita right there, that tall, narrow one. So here are those Autumn Sunburst Azaleas that I'm about to put in the ground here. Uh, here's the Fats Hedra that you saw in the video. I've got several other things laid out here to go in the ground. So be sure to subscribe to my channel to follow along as uh, I put in a lot of the things that you just saw in that video in my landscape. Thanks for watching.